What's up, y'all? This is James Nylon. I continually try to find something wrong, but I can't. And I just had to share it with you. Um, at first glance, you can't lie to me. Tell me the truth. It looks just like a Technics 1200. But look at it. Get closer. Look at that. It's little, little differences, but it looks pretty much the same. It's heavy, just like a Technics 1200. Look, but it says track light. Where the Technics doesn't, that's a difference. Um, Audio Technica. Quartz. Fine tuning on your pitch right here. Look at that. Direction. Forward and backwards on the fly. Look at that. And balance, lock, weight, everything. You know, I'm totally convinced. I've been coming in the studio every day trying to find something wrong, but uh, I can't. It sounds amazing. It even stops like a 1200. Wow. So I thought I'd uh, share this with you. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of in disbelief and the cost is ridiculous. And the only reason I, I entertained buying them was that uh, I may be moving overseas and I needed 240 volts. And this one is switchable from 110 to 240 has built-in USB so you can you can rip your vinyl and it also has a built-in preamp which is incredible it's kind of what the 1200 should have evolved into it's um, it's incredible um, I think it's worth it if you're into buying a new turntable and you just don't have the cash but you have the skills and the determination to be uh, a world-renowned DJ or just an incredible bedroom DJ, um, I totally support this, the Audio Technic uh, ATLP120 USB. All I can say is wow. Peace.